back to another Click tutorial. My name's Jasper and I'm the CTO here at Clicked. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to build a landing page in Bubble. So it's actually really easy and now that Bubble has actually upgraded its components, we're actually able to use all these different components to build ourselves a nice landing page. So as you can see, I've got a completely blank screen here. Um, it's just a new application that we can build on. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Layout and change Fixed to Column. There we go, awesome. And now we're gonna come across to components and we're going to see here and it's gonna say we need these plugins. So we're gonna click install, nice. Now that we've got all our plugins, um, we're gonna start actually building out the page. So let's bring back our components and the first thing we're gonna to wanna to add is a menu. So because this is a landing page, we don't really need much links. So let's say we're gonna grab this one here there we go. So we've got ourselves the menu bar and we're going to get rid of the profile, get rid of the notifications and let's say get rid of that and that can just sit at the top there nice and easy. So we'll just call this landing page. Nice and simple. Now we need the first thing and the next thing which will be the actual header. So let's come across into marketing and not header, the hero. And we've got a few different options of heroes and we're going to go with this one here so there we go so now we've got our hero area so we've got our title subtitle and two buttons nice okay and then we're going to come back to components and we're going to need another section so for this one we can use this blue one a nice little divider section so let's drop that out so as you can see we now got the menu hero Nice little divider section, you can put a CTA like this, so the number one AI driven animation tool. Um, and then you can put some pictures in here or maybe some icons uh, that you might like. Now let's come back to components and think what should we use next? I would say most likely features. So let's list out a bunch of features that we want here. So as you can see, we've got explore our features. We've got smart search, vision control, third party integration, rich text formatting. So lots of different options there for you. Awesome. Now let's come back to components. Now after your features, what would you probably have after that? I'd imagine you would most likely have your customer service and so your customer reviews or testimonials. So you can put that in there. Great. Now let's take a look and see what other options you would have for a page. So we've done our headers, we've done our marketing, we don't need sidebars, we do need a footer, but we will do that last. Let's see if we've got list and feeds. Um, I don't think we need anything from here. Let's have a look at maybe app elements. Actually, that's usually for applications, so we're okay. So let's go to footer and let's get our footer, eh? We'll make it a nice, simple, small one, just like that. Great. Okay, so I think what we should do is probably put something in between these two. So let's go back to components and let's have a think of what we could use. Now if we go to page layouts, what do they have here? Nah. Let's see if we go to marketing again. There we go, we can have here two options. There we go. All right, so we can have three more points, or maybe this can be your blog posts that are sitting here, and then the bottom. So let's take a look at all our sections. We've got our menu, our hero, our CTA, our features, our testimonials or reviews, three more, um, oh, we make this our blog posts, and then our footer. Great. Now let's clean up some of the coloring. So for example, we're gonna to want to make the background here the primary color. There we go. And then we're gonna to want to change the text. Make that white. Let's say make that white as well. Grab those and change them also to white. There you go. Okay, and for these ones, at the moment they're at about 10%, so let's say if we try 15, it's a little bit darker. 
we could go full color and see what that looks like. So if we go smart search, make that white. Okay. I think the blue might actually look a bit better. So let's go like this. We'll select multiple. There we go. And we'll set them to the primary background color. And then we'll select each of these. And then we'll set their text to white. And then we'll also get each button. And then we'll change those to white as well. There we go. And just like that, let's take a little preview. Let's turn the debug mode off. Great, now let's do one more thing. Let's grab this box here and let's actually grab this group because we no longer have a right group because we deleted it. Let's put this in the middle. There we go. So we've got landing page in the middle now, so the title and the little icon. We've now got our title here. We've then got our, <coughs> our subtitle text, so our description, two buttons, our CTA, our features. We then have our customer reviews, our testimonials, and then we have this here. So let's change this and let's go make this our blog posts. Great, and then we'll grab this one and we'll say remove, because we don't need that. Put read more, read more, and read more. There we go. Okay, now if we come back here, and then we go back down to the bottom. There we go. So this would actually be your blog posts. And there's a nice simple landing page. So as you can see, you just built a landing page for um, on Bubble in a matter of minutes. Um, obviously you can go a bit further, you can put more time in, put your own images and coloring. But this just shows how really easy it is to build out a landing page on Bubble, um, definitely when you've got the new components released by Bubble themselves. So um, thanks for attending the video and look forward to seeing you on the next one.